Let me show you a few tips how to hide or unhide easily your colon or the row in Excel. Because most of the time, what people do, you select a colon, right click, and hide. Okay, it works, but you can go a little bit faster if you just go between two colons and you have this symbol. I'm sure you know that this symbol is to extend the width of the colon or to reduce it like this. But if you move it directly next to the previous colon like this, you can see width zero, automatically the colon is hidden. Again, like this, up, it's hidden. Okay, now this is easy, but now I want to unhide this colon. How to do that? I know that most of the people, they select, in fact, two colon, right-click, and hide. But there is a trick. If you notice, between D and F, you don't have the same symbol to separate the colon. Here you have a double bar. If I put my cursor here, you have the standard symbol to change the width of my colon. But if you move a little bit to the right, you can see now my icon has a double bar. Okay, I return here only one bar, and here double bar. This means I'm going to unhide my colon. So if I click and extend, my colon E now is visible. Again for the colon C, double bar, I click, I extend, and I have the colon C. But you can go a little bit faster here if you just double click with this icon. Double click automatically, you enlarge to the maximum size of the column. So it works for the column, it works also for the row. So here, imagine you have this. So double click, it works. Now imagine I select three columns. I select them, reduce the height, so I have column two, three, and four hidden. I select 1 and 5, double click, and it works. And now imagine you have a document like this with a lot of colon hidden, this one, and also the row. This one, select that one, okay, and this one as well. So how can I unhide all of them very quickly? But it's simple, so just select here all your documents, double click here, and double click here. You have all your rows and all your columns. 